Imagine a future where the Philippines stands strong in the West Philippine Sea, defending its waters with cutting-edge naval technology. Today, we dive into the Jose Rizal class frigates, BRP Jose Rizal and BRP Antonio Luna, and the upgrades that could turn them into even more formidable sea powerhouses. These warships, built by South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries, are already the apex of the Philippine Navy's capabilities. Armed with Sea Star anti-ship missiles and a 76mm OEO Malara Super Rapid Gun, these frigates are designed for surface warfare. But the Navy isn't stopping there. Recent upgrades and future plans aim to enhance these vessels' versatility and power. One of the most significant recent upgrades is the installation of the Contralto anti-torpedo system, developed by France's Naval Group. This system deploys Kanto decoys that create acoustic confusion, tricking incoming torpedoes. The result? A 360-degree defense against one of the most dangerous threats a warship can face. The successful integration of this system, along with an upgraded combat management system from Hanla Systems, has already made these frigates better prepared for modern naval combat. In addition to defending against torpedoes, these frigates are looking toward the future in terms of missile defense. The Philippine Navy has plans to install Vertical Launch Systems, or VLS, to house surface-to-air missiles like the Mica VL. This would provide a critical upgrade, allowing these frigates to shoot down incoming aircraft and missiles from long ranges. Another potential addition is a Close-In Weapon System, or CIWS, like the Acel Singakinis, which would offer point defense against fast-approaching threats, such as enemy missiles or small, high-speed boats. One key element of these frigates' upgrade path is the integration of anti-submarine warfare capabilities. This includes the certification of AW-159 Wildcat helicopters, equipped with advanced sonar and radar systems. These helicopters are designed to hunt submarines, greatly improving the Navy's ability to defend against underwater threats. The frigates have also been fitted to carry these helicopters, allowing them to act as fully integrated platforms for anti-submarine warfare. The combat management systems aboard the Jose Rizal-class frigates have also been upgraded. The integration of systems like Hanwha's CMS ensures that all weapons and defensive systems are managed seamlessly, enabling the ships to engage multiple threats simultaneously. This makes the frigates invaluable in protecting Philippine waters, especially in the contested West Philippine Sea, where the nation faces rising tensions with neighboring countries. As part of the broader Horizon 3 defense plan, the Philippine Navy plans to acquire two additional Jose Rizal-class frigates by 2028. This phase of the modernization program focuses on expanding maritime security and includes the acquisition of missile corvettes, patrol vessels, and possibly the country's first submarines. These acquisitions will greatly enhance the Navy's ability to protect its territorial waters and its citizens. Of course, these plans come with challenges. The Philippines' $35 billion military modernization program requires significant financial investment. With tensions rising in the West Philippine Sea, particularly with China, the urgency to fund these upgrades and acquisitions has grown. The question remains, how will the government finance such a massive modernization effort? While the government has earmarked funds for defense, it remains to be seen if this will be enough to keep up with the growing threats in the region. Despite these financial challenges, the Philippines continues to push forward with its modernization. The country is committed to protecting its territorial waters, especially as aggressive actions from neighboring countries increase. The Jose Rizal-class frigates are just the beginning. With planned upgrades like vertical launch systems, missile systems, and enhanced anti-submarine capabilities, these ships represent a future where the Philippines can stand strong in defending its maritime territory. And while these ships are being prepared for the future, it's important to note that the ongoing modernization isn't just about hardware. It's also about expanding the Navy's tactical capabilities and ensuring that crews are trained to handle these new systems. Recent naval exercises, including those in collaboration with allied nations, have demonstrated the Navy's growing proficiency in operating these state-of-the-art warships. Exercises like RIMPAC and Balakaden have allowed the Jose Rizal-class frigates to test their combat systems, giving the crews real-world experience in managing missile systems, torpedoes, and anti-submarine warfare. As always, we'll keep you updated on the latest developments in defense and technology. If you found this content informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on Asia's trending stories. See you next time.